it's your girl Brie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be one of many installments of this cool little segment I want to call Cooking with Brie. So every now and again I want to like, you know, curate cute little concoctions, drinks and sweets and foods, all from the of course universes of Marvel, Harry Potter and Star Wars. So to kick things off, as you can tell by the title of the video of course, I will be recreating the iconic Happy Birthday Harry Cake made by the one and only Ruby is Hagrid. So I hope to be uploading this video actually on my birthday of February 17th. Hashtag Aquarius, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. So although, you know, I'm recording in advance, it will be uploaded on my birthday. So if you are here on February 17th, feel free to do a little dance, make a little love, and get down tonight because uh, it's your girl's birthday. Oh crap. But anyway, guys, I've got all of my needed ingredients in front of me. Instead of doing like a cake from absolute scratch because uh, <laughs> Your girl doesn't know how to cook that well. I instead bought a pre-made cake. And in case you guys are wondering, your girl definitely bought a vanilla cake because of course, you know, the happy birthday Harry cake is like a really nice chocolatey cake. But truth be told, your girl doesn't care for chocolate cake. I mean, I love chocolate and everything else. I mean, <laughs> come on. And of course, along with the cake, your girl bought some beautiful pink frosting. And then lastly, to make the details of the Happy Birthday Harry letters, I bought some cool little writing gel in the color green. On top of that, I've got all my needed ingredients for my pre-made cake mix. I decided to put my eggs in my cute little Harry Potter bowl. If you guys remember, this is the actual bowl that came out of the Harry Potter trunk unboxing. But if you haven't yet watched that video, I'll be sure to put the link up here in case you want to take a look. So on top of that, you know, I've got my water, I've got my oil and everything I need. And then of course, to help me through the process, I have my trustworthy Albus Dumbledore wand from the Fantastic Beasts movies. I feel like I need all of the luck and magic that Dumbledore brings to the table because this cake, although it is pre-made, just might be a recipe for disaster. But all right guys, if you're ready to see me make the happy birthday Harry cake, then keep on watching. All right y'all, I'm gonna put my trustworthy wand down for a little schmidt here. So I figured of course, you know, I'll start with the whole cake. I have to preheat the oven, which it's already preheated. It's, you know, on and popping real hot. Then I have to mix up the cake mix, water, oil, and the eggs into a large bowl. So, all right y'all, let's dive in. All right, so I've got my cake mix. Just gonna pour it all up in here. All right, sis, so far so good. No mess. So far, I think I have two small like pans, so I'm gonna try to make a double layered cake because I feel like a nice, thick, fluffy cake is just what the doctor ordered for your girl's birthday. All right, so I figured next I will do, I think I'm gonna do the eggs in a separate bowl because your girl is always a little bit of a messy person and I don't wanna get any eggshells in your girl's cakes. All right, y'all saw that? Okay, Chef Boyard Brie. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I've got my eggs up in here. I think I want to whisk it up just a little bit. You know, beat these eggs up. Doop, doop. Sorry, not that kind of beat. All right, you know what I'm saying? I got it down packed. So I feel like, you know, this is pretty good. I'm just gonna pour it with the cake mix. Yeah, boy. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and pour my oil. I have to use a half a cup of oil. So on top of the oil, I need a whole cup of water. I've got like a glass of water here. I'll pretty much just fill it up. Okay, wow. Yeah, this bowl is really full. I feel like a disaster is just waiting. So I went ahead and got a bigger bowl and I'm just gonna transfer on the mix into there and then start from in there. Oh yeah, this is a more appropriate sized bowl. And I feel like I am less prone to making a mess. So let's get back into it. I'm gonna whisk up this cake real quick. Y'all, side note, this cake smells delicious and it's not even baked yet. All right, y'all, so I'm done whisking it up. I just now have to pour my cake mix into my two eight inch round pan. So. Let's get into it. I'm gonna be a little bit careful because your girl doesn't want to have two weirdly layered cakes. But so far, I would say that I did good. I mean, like, this cake mix, she's nice and smooth. All right, you guys, so I've got pretty much like an even layer of cake mix in both round pans here. So I'm gonna pop them into the oven real quick, wait about half an hour, and then I'll be ready to move on to the frosting stage. All right, y'all, so the cakes are cooked to perfection. They smell Oh, so delicious. I have two nice eight inch round layers that I am so ready to stack up on each other and smother with lots of strawberry frosting. I am so excited because I don't think I've used this kind of frosting before. So I'm kind of curious as to how it's gonna taste. Before we get started though, I do wanna mention I have a secondary camera right here above just so you guys can get a better look while I decorate the cake. All right, y'all, so I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it out without messing up each layer of the cake, but you know, we're just gonna cross our fingers and hope everything goes well. I've got this knife here though that I'm hoping will help. I'm just gonna, you know, poke at it all around the rim here. And now what I'm gonna try to do is just kind of like flip the can over and kind of like beat that layer of cake out of there and hope it works. All right, y'all. Oh, I am not a chef, but here we go. Ooh, bro, it's not coming out. I don't know what 
one, two, two. How are you supposed to get this out? I just need to get it out. Like maybe this one would be easier. I didn't spray the pan, you guys. I didn't spray either of the pans before I put them into the oven and that is where I messed up. You know, I knew if you guys watched long enough, you'll see me screw up and this is where your girl screws up. Okay, so we're gonna have to like poke around this cake. Oh wait, she's coming. With a little bit of patience and a little TLC, she's coming out. I think we're ready to flip it. Oh, look at the pan! All right, let's try to get her out and not damage her as badly as the other one. Okay, okay, all right. Oh, dang it, there's a chunk right in there. I don't know, let's flip it and see. Oh no, this one's worse! This is a disaster, bruh. Let's just take her and put her right here. Oh shoot, ah, I am like the worst at this. Can you tell that I didn't go to culinary school? All right, y'all, we got this cake here that we're going to try our best and not make it any more of an epic failure than it already is. All right, so I have like a cake knife here that's definitely meant for cutting cake so you can enjoy it, but I don't have like a frosting spatula, cake spreader, whatever the doohickey is called. I just have this and I figured, hey, like this is pretty flat. It just might work to smooth out the frosting on top. So all right, y'all, let's just dive in and get it done. Mm, oh my gosh, it really does smell like strawberries. Okay, Pillsbury with the authentic strawberry frosting. Come through, come through. I feel like we started off bumpy with taking that cake out of the pan, but at this point, we're doing all right. I feel like I know what I'm doing a little bit, just a little bit. I feel like the hardest part is gonna be to put the frosting like all around the sides. Like, oh my gosh, do you guys see that huge chunk of cake missing? Should I low key, like, should I just put like a random piece like in that hole? All right, let's do it, why not? <laughs> we can make it work. You guys are seeing that I am doing my best to keep things together. All right. I'm doing amazing, sweetie. Like Kris Jenner says, I am doing amazing. Oh, y'all look. Definitely my little DIY hack is not worth trying. So we're just going to take this out and just keep on going, all right? Oh my gosh. Was I supposed to put frosting in between or also to be two dry layers? All right, um, right, we're gonna try to like put frosting in between. Oh my gosh, I'm just messing this up so badly. I feel like if I was in culinary school, they most definitely would have kicked me out. I can't help but laugh at my failure. <laughs> this side right here is just amazing. I should give lessons. Okay, all right, cooking with Brie for a fee. Yeah, all right, let me stop. Who is gonna pay me for this? I'll just do it for free. Cooking with Brie for free. That's even better. Cooking with Brie for free. Come on, I put it out there. Manifest it, manifest it. It's like at all angles when I turn the cake, I'm like thinking maybe it'll be better on the other side. It never gets better. Okay, I think I'm done. I mean like, I think I've done the best I could do. It's okay. I mean like from this far view on the camera, it looks doable, but from the up close view, Lord have mercy, it looked like she need help. All right y'all, so I have my tubes of green writing gel. So I'm gonna use these to basically you know, draw out happy birthday, Harry. But first I figured because I have this like toothpick kind of thing that I used to make sure that the cake was done. I figured what I'll do is like draw with this first. That way if I potentially like mess up, I can kind of try to smooth it over with the frosting a little bit and start over. So basically I know I have a lot to write on this cake. So fingers crossed everything goes well on the first try. We'll start at the top here and just, oh, this is so bad. I can't even get the crack right. Oh my gosh, did you guys see what just happened there? So for the lettering, I'm just gonna do it like really lightly. So we'll start lightly and do like the H. Now this is not gonna be like perfect, it's just kind of like the outline for me to like draw with. All right, we're doing okay so far. Got the half and then we're gonna put the two E's. All right, and then for the birthday, we have birth on the left hand side and day on the right. Okay, so we're gonna have to start a little bit more on the left here. And then the Harry. We're just gonna put the H right there, like one big H. Oof, y'all, I am just destroying this cake, bruh. All right, I did my best to kind of fix this mistake that I made here. Let's keep it pushing. I'm gonna just try to put the H right there. And then the A. Oh, the Y kind of like squiggles at the end. All right, so I've got my writing gel here and my letters are pretty much in place. So now I'm just gonna trace it real quick. I will say that this green is not as rich as I hoped it would be, but it gets the job done. All right, I'm done. That was 
wasn't that bad. I finished. I'm quite proud of myself if I'm being honest, you guys. Like, it's not perfect work, but then again, who is perfect? You know what I'm saying? Not me. All right, y'all, so I am officially done making this cake. This is how it turned out in the end. Although it doesn't look like it should be on Cake Wars, it still looks perfectly fine to eat. Ah, uh, well, that's debatable. But anyway, all that's left now is to try it. Ooh, child, this cake is screaming for help, y'all. Screaming. Okay, I mean, my attempt at like putting frosting in the second layer kind of came through a little bit there. I don't know if you can see the frosting. All right, y'all, pray for me. Hmm, okay, okay. I did not do a bad job, this tastes good. Although it doesn't look great, it tastes great. I mean, it was a pre-made cake in the first place, like how could I go terribly wrong with that? But it tastes good. All right, I just might be Chef Boy Brie after all. Hit me up y'all for birthdays, events, weddings. I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, so overall, I would give this cake about three out of five stars. I feel like it could have been better presentation wise, but then again, it could have also been worse, hence the three stars. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you guys give this rating of this cake down below in the comments if you'd like. But all right, y'all, that's it for today's video. And thank y'all so, so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel. And turn that notifications bell on so you'll be notified when I upload a brand new video. Also, please be sure to add your girl on Instagram at Brianna underscore Calix, as well as on Snapchat at Red and Black Princess. And while you're at it, add your girl on TikTok at Brianna Calix, as well as on Twitter at Free Kaleeks. But all right, you guys. Bye. I mean, I'm not Chef Gordon Ramsay, but you could definitely call me Chef Boy Arbery.